I don't know if the NFT in your in your theme park analogy is the the, the cotton candy or is the ro roller coaster. I think the NFT is most likely the access gateway to to get into this. I mean, z zoom a bit out. We see we see one trend today. When it comes to, so we saw a move to, to paid premium content, but all centered around subscriptions. You see all the platforms from the small ones like Substack to, to Twitter and so on. They are all bringing subscriptions to their platforms. And I, I can tell you, Ron, for sure, I love subscriptions. They are a great, great model if you can pull it off. But there are two things that I'm currently seeing on the consumer side. There is definitely subscription fatigue because I don't know about you, but I bet I have like at, at least 10 subscriptions to different content related services. And that's and just on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> well, so <laughs> that is not only on OnlyFans, sadly, but, uh, but what I can tell you is the following. Like I don't use several, even my Netflix, because guess what? My wife has a Netflix account. I have a Netflix account. We are mostly using hers. I still don't want to unsubscribe because this is like almost infrastructure to me and Netflix is in the good position. But if you are an individual creator, nowadays people think not once, not twice, but, but at least three times about whether or not they should subscribe to you and you have to be extraordinary. And then from the creator standpoint also, you, in order to pull off a subscription th th uh, thingy approach successfully, you need to create tons of content on a regular basis right you need to be there you do, i don't subscribe to somebody who publishes a, a thing a month and so now if you combine these two i think we need for creators alternatives and i think the the concept of nfts has become the most interesting alternative for creators to monetize the, their work because now you have Subscription is about abundance. NFTs are about scarcity. And now people who create very good stuff, but not on a regular recurring basis, they have the perfect digital tool to pull off a business model and you sell the tickets to the roller coaster. And what can the roller coaster be? Anything you can do in a digital world. It can be content, which is hmm, interesting, but maybe boring. It can be interactions like the stuff we do, right? Have uh, votings or, or ideation missions, ask me anything, it's all exclusive to people who have an NFTs, right? I, I recently said we, on, on LT Fan platform, it's now the easiest way to create and distribute NFTs and give exclu exclusive perks to your fans. That is our approach. But of course, there, there will be other digital experiences like in, in gaming, right? Why not? Uh, if you have this NFT, you can wear this skin or the skin is the NFT, but, but also only with this NFT, you get access to this weapon and so on and so yeah. forth. Jonas, and, hop in. And now I, and now I need to jump back to the, to the theme park analogy because Because actually the, the gaming part was where I wanted to, to build a bridge. In the end, if the NFT is the access park to the theme park, well, now, you, now you're in this world. And if you're the type that likes the action, then you use your NFT. And maybe the gaming world is the, the analogy to the roller coaster. You can like get some thrill, use it in, in okay, a playful way. Going. Then maybe afterwards, this theme park also has kind of a this movie theater thing where you can watch a movie and maybe the seats move and there's like I don't know maybe some water spraying around. That's maybe the analogy to using your NFT to access some content. And maybe uh, afterwards you want to get a waffle and maybe that NFT is your discount code to pay only half the price compared to somebody that doesn't own it. Um, so, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. Use so, it in I mean, but, but that goes back to access, right? So, uh, like, access is, 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 is super relevant. So, access to the theme park, access to certain content, access to discount codes. So, an NFT is, is a non-fungible way to basically create a digital ticket, right? So it's like you can't be duplicated, fra ticketing fraud, all those types of issues with access. Currently, you're on your way. Uh, I, I wrote an article. You're on your way to the stadium. You lose your tickets. Fuck, I can't get into the game anymore. The, the, those tickets didn't actually mean anything. It was just a piece of paper with a, with a barcode on it. You know what I mean? The tickets themselves mean nothing, but the tickets were access to that to the game. You know what I mean? So like NFT yeah. solved that. But yeah, and, there has to be more. And, and, there has to be a, another layer. 
you know? No, of course, there's another layer and, and uh, damn, I'm quoting myself for the second time t today, but, but in an article recently, I think I, I put it together quite well because I said, depending on what exactly you do with them, NFTs are some kind of hybrid between limited edition artifacts and content, digital bragging rights, tickets and access permissions, club membership IDs, and ownable memes. So, so here you have, and that is quite interesting, you have like a canvas, it's almost like a design space, the NFT, and you can do a bunch of different things with them. So yes, it is an access permission, but it can also be, for instance, the limited edition artifact. Think about it like from a musician's standpoint. So one, one thing I, I liken NFTs to is like a limited edition vinyl pressing, right? You have these, you, you know, you can of course buy the cd but, but you can also spend more money to have the vinyl that exists only 1000 2000 whatever whatever times so people do this people collectors fans do it they 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 spend for this but now because it you, you can do such a limited edition music work that you that you can sell you also have the the additional benefit that because it's a digital object you can attach different rights or, or access permissions to it and say for instance okay now uh, you have this verifiably you currently own this record but you can also use it to to ask me questions you can use it to to attend a a, a live stream and so on and so forth well, maybe you get exclusive early access to my next video that i'm releasing